Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia and this is Heart in Hand Creations and Events. All right, guys, again, as I said a few minutes ago, welcome back to my channel. And today's DIY is going to be the Wings of Love. Guys, this is the last and final project of my DIY Feature Project Series 3. And this too is a wall art project. So if you would like to see how that's going to turn out, don't go anywhere. And I will be back in two seconds to show you how that is going to turn out. And here is the inspiration for today's DIY, the wings of love. And here I've already sketched out a version of the wings, which helps me to get an idea of how I'm going to make them because this is my first time making them as I mentioned before, and I wanted to share this with you. And all of the items that I will be using will be listed in the description below. And next you will see where I have cut out the shoulder blade portion of the wing, which I set to the side to go to move forward with the second part of this wings of love set and right here guys i'm just demonstrating how you should use a very sharp blade be very careful and the newer the blade the better for crisp clean lines the inspiration picture had a clock in between the wings i will be using a mirror and for that i'm using some spare pieces or some pieces from another project which was a christmas tree crown and i'm using the dowels that was for that and i'll save the ring for another project and here i'm using the pet claw clippers to the size that i need my dowels to be and here i'm just positioning the dowels around the back of the clock and i'm using hot glue for that Right here, I am placing my dowels in a staggered position, meaning the pattern is large, small, large, small. And this is how it looks. I turned it over, put some paper on the mirror to protect it from the spray paint. As you see here, I'm using black. And here is the result. Once my paint was dry enough, I went ahead and put the gems on the dowels. And here is how it looks with a few of the gems on. I continue to put gems on all of the dowels, different shapes at different positions. And guys, I want to take this moment to say thank you for tuning into my channel. If you are new, tap that subscribe button and then tap the notification bell so when I come up with my next video, you will know. And if you like what I'm doing so far, guys, hit that like button. Right here, I continue to add gems to the outside of, on the frame of the mirror. Once I completed the design of my mirror, this is the result and at this point I move forward with the wings and right here I'm just doing an outline of the feathers and right here once my feathers were drawn I went ahead and cut out the tips. Right here, I am putting the 
shoulder blade in place. Both wings are ready to be decorated. After I reinforce the crease of the shoulder blades onto the wings, I proceeded ahead to paint with acrylic paint to give that black piece a more um, solid look because I used foam post board and it was a, had an ashy look. And this is where I'm placing my gems. When I finish putting the gems around the edge of the shoulder blade area, I went ahead and painted the feather tips of my wing. And this is where the gems will be placed. So I also made sure that I painted the inside or in between the feathers. Here I am using Mod Podge glue, which will be the adhesive for placing the feathers. I continued this pattern until I had three full rows of feathers. And once my layers were all in place, this is how the wing looks. And here you see on the tips of the wings, I have put the acrylic gems and my feathers are all in place. Once my set of wings were complete, I just went ahead to fill in some of the spaces, make it look a little fuller. And once I was finished with that guys, this is the final result. What do you think? I believe it turned out beautiful. I really do. I think this is one of my top DIYs. Yeah, I really like this. And if you like it, guys, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. And if you are new to my channel or you are a returning viewer, tap that subscribe button. Come on in. Then tap that notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, guys, you will know. Also, don't forget to like and share. And I will see you guys in the next DIY video. Bye-bye.